I'm doing a little video in the boonies on the outskirts and I got my hazards on. I'm outside my car. I'm doing the panoramic 360 view of the beautiful outdoors, the fresh outdoors. I love the landscape. I even got some uh, some wildlife in there, some pheasants. You know, I got some livestock and just the clouds looking up at the sky looking at the wheat grass looking at a little bit of everything got my hazard zone i'm parked off on the side of the road not in anybody way so i'm doing my video and this this car rolls up slowly in the opposite direction looking at me and i say i smile i wave and they just looking at me, a, a, a old lady, a old lady. She just looking, grimacing, like, what's going on? <laughs> like neighborhood watch, like, like I'm up to no good. People out here stealing pheasants from their property. I don't know. It was a dirt road. I like giving people the benefit of the doubt because I like to think and believe humanity is better than we come across, than the world makes us out to be. Yeah, we got some toxic MFers out there that exist. Yeah, we got some people that's not the sharpest knife in the drawer not the brightest bulb we got some people some young some old middle age all walks of life all ethnicities all everything all genders you name it we got some people out there that's just negative toxic tendencies love the person the behavior and the attitude though that's toxic that's negative. That's going in a devolving direction. We're supposed to be evolving. We're supposed to be increasing. They're decreasing. They're thinking of backtracking, of going back into the cave. I liken it to uh, computers. Think about when the first computers came out, them big joints. It's like, yo, this got to be housed in a warehouse, how big this is. Then we was like, okay, let's get the personal computers. Still kind of big, bulky, like a box. We call them joints dinosaurs. You remember, remember TVs before we had the flat screen TVs? You had the big giant TV. And you're like, oh... I want to get a 56 inch screen TV and the joint is big and heavy and take like 10 people to move it. So imagine the computers back then with the, the monitors, big old monitors. And then you got the big old hard drive. And when people are stuck in their ways, you know, the phrase, the saying, you can't teach your old dog new tricks. When people are stuck in their ways, it's like they're operating on this old computer. Now the computer still works. It can get the job done, but it can't get everything done. And for the things that it can get done, it takes a long time. Remember dial up? Remember like, it'd be like, like it sound like the phone is dialing up and grand, grand, that weird, weird sign because it's finally connecting. It's booting up. It's trying to upload and download and do all these things. It's taking forever. Change the interface. Times change. I'm not saying you have to jump ship and you know get on the next wave all the time, but you have some options. When you're not upgrading and changing and, and staying up to date, or at least somewhat current, you're gonna miss out on a lot. You're gonna get left behind on a lot in that old way of thinking can be viewed as very toxic because it's hindering. It's trying to keep folk from increasing, 
from evolving. So if you want to stay using your old interface, don't get mad when the rest of the world leave you behind. Accept that. If that's the if that's what you want to, you still want to use floppy disk. You still want to use VHS tapes for the VCR. You still want to do uh, CDs and DVDs. Even them joints is old. Remember, they was like Blu-ray is gonna be the face. Blu-ray lasted a few years. I mean, Blu-ray still kind of go, but not really. Let's be real. Everything is digital digitalized and like online everything is streaming don't get left behind that's all i'm saying is just consider the options of updating your interface when people are trying to grow especially our youth and you want to stay you want to talk about there's a disconnect with the youth and the, and the other generations is because of communication styles. Communication styles also attribute to personality type. Personality type go hand in hand with the language. What's the language? What's the language of the land? What's the law of the land? What's, what is going on that is hip and current and trendy and the new thing, the new wave that you're being left behind on. I get left behind on a lot. I don't have social media. Only social media I got is YouTube. So if anybody out there faking faking the funk and saying that they Zach Van Harris on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, any of them Jones. Not me. I only got YouTube. I barely use email. I have to because of, I'm self-employed and work and things like that. I mostly use, you call me up on some old school stuff or we, or I can text you. But um, my business partners and uh, clientele, everybody's like, you got to get some type of social media or hire someone to do it for you. So... I'm, I'm, I'm considering it. <laughs> you know, I got to practice what I preach. Don't want to be this outdated computer. <laughs> you know, so I love y'all. Thanks for listening. Zach is back. You know, I'm going to be dropping all types of content. Y'all know how I do. I don't have no theme. My theme is not to have a theme. That's how I do. That's my channel. My channel, my joint gonna be all over the place like it always is. And uh, since I've taken like a month off, I'm gonna be dropping a lot of content for you. I might drop like two or three a day sometimes. I might drop more. And I know some of these joints is gonna probably, some of these joints is gonna probably only get a couple views and I'm fine with that. It might only get one view and that'd be from me because I watch me. I'm a fan of me. You should be a fan of yourself first and foremost. I had someone say, you you posted, you, you uploaded a video, you liked your video, you thumbed up your video, you comment on your video, you a lame. <laughs> I, said, I said, first of all, I'm a content creator. If, why would I put out some product or put something on my channel that I don't like? I gotta like my own stuff, first and foremost. Get the ball rolling. And, smarty pants, since you wanna try to dig, take some shots, shots fired. If you a content creator and you follow YouTube content creator uh, channels, you that's what you're supposed to do. They literally tell you that. Be the first to like your video, to uh, comment on your video, to share your video. Lead the way. Get the ball rolling, dummy. <laughs> Golly. Some people just don't get it, man. That's why I said like earlier in this video, everybody ain't the sharpest 
knife in the drawer, the brightest bulb. Everybody ain't there. I'm not there. I'm not saying that. If, if you in a situation, you in a room, and you're the smartest person in the room, you probably should get out of that room because you're not stretching yourself, you're not growing. If you're the smartest person in the room all the time, you are wasting your time. You're supposed to be a student of life, growing, learning something. Learn something from someone that's young. Learn something from someone your age. Learn something from someone that's your elder. That's being a student of life. Taking in knowledge and experience from all aspects, all areas, all directions of life. You don't know it all. And if you do know it all, you might as well hang it up. You might as well go off the grid and either share the information or go off the grid and live on a mountain like a monk. Or you know what I'm saying? Like if you know it all and you you want to hoard all the information, like how you the smartest in the room and you not sharing information with other people? You the smartest in the room, you need to get out of that room. Or you need to be the professor, even professors and uh the top most brilliant minds on the planet still learn something new every day. Think about this. The reason no one can know it all because no one lives everyone's life. No one has everyone on the planet's life experience. Even a kid has a different experience than you if you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 100s. You could be 120 years old and still not experience what a 12 year old in this generation is experienced. Like, cause you, you an elder. You not out there doing what the, what the youth is doing. So you can learn something from that youth. Like updating your software, your computer, your hard drive. And when I say computer, that could be the physical, literal computer, changing that interface up. Or it could be the metaphorical computer, the metaphorical computer of you, your life, your life's computer. Are you the CEO of your life or are you life's employee? Come on. Come on. We on this road, are we on this road trip together? clouds are telling telling us that there's going to be some weather ahead that some of y'all might not like. We might get a little rain. We might get a little sleep. We might even get a little hail. But uh, we might get some snow flurries. Stay tuned. Meteorologist Zach is, I'm on it. Pay attention to these clouds. Back in the day, antiquity and even before then, always the his history of humanity, civilization paid attention to the stars, to paid attention to the sky. That tells you what lies ahead, what's coming up. So I'm just paying homage. I'm paying homage by, I'm double dipping. I'm interfacing with, with the new wave technology and I'm saying Kofa reaching back to the old ways, the old traditions of, yo, take a take a peek up at the constellations. See what might be uh, coming ahead. Stay in tune with nature. I wanna, I wanna end how I always end. Say peace, love, smiles to galaxy. I'm Zachary. I see you. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others and be kind to nature. The universe will support you. Just put out good energy, good waves, good frequencies. You know what I mean? And good, good vibrations. I love y'all.